Yeah, so Rob Allenek is currently in the strongest position. He is in P1. He can choose when to go. He can immediately dive on the inside line. But what would your tactic be as Sean? He's on the outside. He has to look to the left to see when Rob is going. Do you try to make your way on the on, on the middle line? Do you go for the outside? Do you hook in behind Rob Allenek? What would your tactic be? My tactic would kind of be to let Rob Allenek get a jump. Because remember, we saw that if you go too early, you're going to get sucked in and, and overtaken. So I, I would, if anything, say, like, let him go ahead a little bit. And he is going to get a jump. And then watch, you know, join everybody and just steamroll in him. Oh, Dave Price got a great start there. And he got immediately caught up by Sean Wiltshire. He immediately covered the inside line. But as you said, Sean Wiltshire will now be able to draft all the way down towards Rob Allenek. Dave Cameron, he is the green car. He's trying to make the middle line work on the outside of Dave Price. He's now in the draft of Sean Wiltshire, who tries it on the outside and makes the move. Oh, and poor Dave Price got boxed in. Some interesting tactics going on. It's getting a little bit cutthroat around here. That is Dave Cameron up on the high side, who can't quite carry the speed to take himself up to the front yet here through three and four. Can we get to the yellow flag? Come on, boys. Let's make it green to the end. A little bit of bobbing and weaving. All we need to do is a few hundred feet to the line. You guys are awful close. Just a little bit more. White flag is out. We are going to this under green. It is still Sean Wiltshire up to the front, having started this race in 14th. Leads the way down at the bottom, Johan. Yeah, Rob Allenek is trying to make moves, but he's boxed in on the inside. Cannot make any moves. They go over oh, Trangray. The Trangray on the outside. They're going below the apron. Below the yellow, yellow. They go four wide over the back straight. Dave Price all the way on the inside, making it stick. Dave Price over Trangray now leading the race. Sean Wilson, Dave Cameron falling back. That was Ian Haycox who lost out on that. They're still going. It is still Dave Price down at the bottom. He's going to be hard to overtake. He tries to cover it off. Who is that coming up the inside? Oh, there we Domino! Go. Finish line. Who's going to get it? And is Over train grade. Over oh, train grade takes wow. the win. How far back was he in that pack? And Zachary LeFay getting P2. My goodness, Keystone cops at the end. Zachary LeFay, what was it at the line between those two? It was less than a car length for one hundredths of a second. This is Ovezu from on board. I think Ove's new nickname will be Moses because just the rest <laughs> of the cars parted away and he could just have a straight line finish for that victory. Oh my goodness. We're gonna watch it one more time from above. This was a wild ride. Everybody, where, uh, boy, the order is gonna be all sorts of jumbled after that. I have no idea where everybody finished. That was Olenek that we watched. He just absolutely demolished the car. So with that, <laughs> we're gonna take a break here on the Global Sim Racing Channel. We'll come back with the official results as well as drivers.